So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and basically change your Apple ID instead of your particular iPhone without going through and losing any of your data. Now, this can be kind of a complicated thing, but the very first thing I'd recommend doing here is to make as many manual backups as possible. So this would essentially mean any photos that you basically have inside of your iPhone, any videos, any you know big things that you can go in and kind of you know back up, those are the big things that I'd recommend going through and basically backing up manually. Airdrop to them to you, Google Drive them, something like that. Especially if your photos and videos, you know, a lot of these other applications, they're already be ported over because they're already, you know, logged into. You just log into your Snapchat or Instagram and your stuff's already there. With this stuff, that might not be the case. So back up everything that you might need to be backed up, messages included. And then what you can do is you can go and make your way over into the settings application. And actually, Apple allows you to go and back up your device completely for free for them. If you click on your general settings right here, if you click on at the bottom, if you click on transfer or reset iPhone, if you click up here, prepare for new iPhone, you can go and back up your data straight up on Apple's iCloud servers. That's another thing. That's a really easy way of kind of doing a quick little backup. Once you've done your backup, what you're going to want to do is tap at the very top of your Apple ID settings right up here. And then what you can do is you can scroll all the way down until you see this option right here that says sign out. You do not have to factory reset your iPhone. You will just have to sign out. Anything that's associated with that Apple ID, it will tell you. So to tell you any iCloud photos, anything like that, you will probably have to go and you know either back them up or download them because they're going to be deleted. So go ahead, like I said, manually download all those. And then when you're done with that, what you can do is you can sign back in with your current Apple ID. Now, the big thing Apple has just done is that they now give us the capability of basically reverting and moving our purchases from one Apple ID to another. So what we can do is if you actually want to, if this is your new Apple ID once you sign in, if you sign in with your old Apple ID inside of your media and purchases, you can then go through and migrate your purchases that way. Now, once you're signed out, you can just sign back in with your next Apple ID account. So go ahead, sign back into that account. Like I said, if you have the option of restoring your purchases, you might be able to go through and you know transfer those as well. Now, some things that might not be available for you if you're going to go through, if you're going to back up your device or if you're going to change it up, your iCloud drive files associated with that older Apple ID may not be there anymore. So keep that in mind. Number two, any Apple Music and iCloud Store subscriptions or apps that were purchased under the old Apple ID may not be there, but again, the apps you can probably transfer over, but those other subscription services tied to that other Apple ID may not be there. But essentially, that's how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.